is Sunday, day six of Vlogmas. It is probably after two or maybe close to three o'clock and I am just getting around to picking up my camera now. It has been a really good, slow morning. I've just been organizing, tidying, and doing a little bit of knitting on my Felix sweater. This is the first sleeve and it's actually going really quickly. So I think I'm going to go sit in the family room and work on as much of the sleeve as possible today. I think I might even be able to get it done. I'm not sure. I don't want um, super long sleeves on this sweater. I think I'm going to do like a bracelet length. So it's around a three quarter, maybe just a little bit more than a three quarter length sleeve. So I'm going to work on that today um, and just sort of take it easy and get myself ready for the week. I feel like it might be a little bit of a boring vlog today, but there's really nowhere to go. And um, we're all just kind of doing our own thing around the house today. So I'm going to do some knitting and I will see you later. I have Sunday dinner in the oven. It is an easy standby family recipe that everyone loves. We are having sheet pan Italian sausages and roasted potatoes again. And I've got Harry Potter playing on the TV. And I'm just taking a few minutes and looking for a little inspiration for the week. I was doing this quite a bit at the end of the summer and um, at the beginning of fall and any of the vlogs that I have posted around that time, I'm pretty sure I was kind of visiting my cookbook library and pulling out some old favorites and just looking for inspiration. So what I normally do is when I go to my cookbooks, I either go because I have a specific recipe I'm looking for but times like right now, I know I have various meats and things in the freezer and I kind of know roughly maybe that I want to have a pasta, maybe I have a ground beef. Um, there's a few things that I'll have in my head and then I'll just kind of pull out some books for inspiration. And then if I need any ingredients to make anything, I can pick them up on Monday. And I don't really plan my meals every night i'll have three or four meals for the week and then whatever's going on that week however i feel i will make one of them each day so these are the books that i chose for this week just to inspire me some of the things i will probably make right from the book but they're also just inspiring me with ideas of things that i know we love and i've made before so first i remembered i've been um wanting to make the marinated onions for a while from No Crumbs Left, which is a book by Terry Turner. So I pulled this book out because I'm probably gonna make them tomorrow for 
um, some salads and sandwiches this week. And then as I was flipping through, I was thinking she's got so many great recipes for some chicken dishes and there's a fajita platter that she does. So I think I might leave this one out and keep it on standby to see what I can possibly make from here this week with things that I may already have in the freezer and in the fridge. So I'm gonna keep this one out to do my onions tomorrow and look for some other inspiration. I have been thinking about this book quite a bit. I really like it. It was a little bit difficult to get here in Canada. I couldn't find it anywhere in the usual spots, but Glenn ordered it directly from the UK for me and it came quite quickly. It is Annabelle Carmel's Busy Mums Cookbook. This is a fantastic book. Everything I've made from here is super easy and everyone has really enjoyed it. There's a salmon and cod au gratin that everyone loved. I don't know where that one is, but we also really liked these um, shrimps or prawns in a curry sauce. It was really good. And as I was flipping through here, I noticed there are a few pasta dishes that also look really nice. This is the 20 minute dinner section, which I love. This looks great, this looks great. So, um, and even this, this might be a fun kind of weekend dinner for us. I think the kids would love that. So I've got this one set aside and I'm probably just gonna pile these on the coffee table so that I can keep going back to them. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make this this week. I usually do, um, we usually have pasta one or two times a week for dinner. And once in a while, I like to try a new recipe. And I have been craving cabbage lately. I love cabbage and I don't have too many recipes for them, but this looked really good. This book is another favorite. It is the Lydia's Common Sense Italian Cooking by Lydia Basti Bastianich. There she is there. I'm sure you've seen her on her cooking show. And I spotted this penne with a cabbage and meat sauce. It looks really nice. And I actually think the kids would like that. So that's a potential recipe. And I pulled this book out because it's pretty new to my collection. It's the latest Ina Garden cookbook that came out this fall. It's called Modern Comfort Food. This tomato soup on the cover looks delicious. And this recipe for smashed hamburgers looks really good to me too. Sometimes you just want a hamburger, but you don't want to go outside and barbecue. So this looks really yummy. And um, she has quite a few good recipes in here that I have not, I haven't tried anything from this book yet, but I am excited too. And there are a couple things in here that I think I'd like to make over the holidays. That was the soup, yum. So that is what I'm doing while I am waiting for the dinner to be ready. I'm gonna take all of those and um, just keep them out for the week so I can reference them and maybe pick up anything, make a list for groceries tomorrow so I can pick up anything I might be missing.